showing signs of slowing. Well, let's get more from LBC's Brussels correspondent. Hey, beautiful people. How are you? I hope everyone is doing well. I'm all right. I'm doing well. That's in police vehicle. And yeah, this is me. Taking a drive around quarantine London to see what's going on. This is quarantine London. What is going on? Everyone's staying at home, some people still in the bus stop. Some the bored out of their head and just trying to play in their garden. I've been at home now for three days. I've just come out to take some fresh air. I'm not talking to people. <laughs> I'm not touching people. I'm coming here, people. I'm just taking a drive, which I suppose is the safest thing to do since this thing is bloody airborne now. Even walking around doesn't even seem safe anymore. Yeah, so this is um, this is the A13. It is A13 coming from to I'm coming towards London. This is the A13, and as you can see, there's a good number of cars on the road. But when you get to the side roads, not so many. Not so many. People are staying home, but obviously there will still be people who are either going to work or going shopping, going to use the essential services or whatnot. Yeah, I mean, I don't suppose until there is a proper lockdown, like lockdown like there's no movement at, at all that you can completely see everywhere shut down you always see people going around and it's just it's not normal I don't know what's normal again these days to be honest everything is outside down yeah 8 13 towards London Someone asked me, <laughs> someone asked me if they can visit their boyfriend. Their boyfriend is not allowing her to visit because he said he's in quarantine. Is he doing anything? Or is it okay to quarantine with your girlfriend? Which one is it? If your boyfriend is not allowing you to come to visit him because he's quarantined, how are you going to view it? Is it just trying to be safe and taking all necessary precautions to allow which says that we shouldn't allow visitors and you know everyone to stay indoors and not come out except you absolutely have to or is is it doing something is it up to something is it quarantine with someone else <laughs> is it trying to quarantine with someone else because i mean if you're in a relationship it's given like for married couples you know you're not going to send your wife out or send your children out because you want to quarantine you quarantine with your family so if you are having a relationship with someone that is a relationship that is serious and you live in different apartments or you live in different houses and because of this new thing now that is going on i don't know what do you think the person should do quarantine laws quarantine together i would i would have thought that i mean quarantine together would have sounded made more sense to me personally because if the person does not i know sometimes you never know until weeks later and all that but if the person has been self-isolating for some time and they are okay then i don't know why you cannot quarantine together to be honest because the person will keep thinking that if i'm not seeing him and he's saying that he's self-quarantine or he's i don't even know what to say whether it's self-quarantine or quarantine or quarantine we god knows anyway 
if he's saying that okay he's not going out because you know we've been told not to go out how am i sure how am i sure do i should i just trust him that there's no one there there's no one there maybe facetime yeah video call if it's, if it's picking your video call then de definitely i think that should suffice because with video call you will know if there's somebody in the house or not if there's somebody in the house he won't be very comfortable if it's another woman who is in a relationship with. I don't think he'll be very comfortable picking up your own video call. Video call. So yeah, maybe video call. I don't know. We live in really strange times. Really, really strange times. A lot of things are going to happen. A lot of things are happening right now as we speak. Some marriages are shaking. Yeah, they are really, really shaking. We don't know. Nobody knows. I suppose. Everyone is just trying to get out of this thing alive. Everyone is just trying to get out of it alive because at the end of the day, life is all that we care about for now. Who they alive? Now they get boyfriend. The boyfriend that is alive is the one that will have a girlfriend at the end of this thing. So I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's a bad idea to guarantee together. But if he doesn't want to, I don't. I don't also think that it's. it's it necessarily means that he's doing something that he shouldn't be doing or he's being dodgy or trying to play fast one or I don't know. You never know. That's why trust is key. It's good to trust. When there's no trust, there's no relationship. Anyway, guys, I hope you all are doing well. What are you doing to keep busy? What are the fun things that you're doing? I think I'm beginning to adjust to this. Finally, initially it was really difficult for me the first couple of days, but um I'm, I'm starting to adjust now i'm starting to adjust to it today was a good day for me and uh, i feel better cooking experimenting with different things trying to get the children to not spend all the day playing their game to have like a structure you know for us to have like a structure whereby they can do their school work that's been set for them do some work exercise and um, play yeah have some play time because they've got so much time on their hands we don't know when the school is going to open it's likely going to be in summer anyway so they've got months of being at home so if one is not careful these children are just going to stay on on games all day 24 hours so yeah i hope you all are safe staying at home not going out they said you absolutely have to and uh, protecting yourself I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe. Subscribe. Where are all my subscribers? Oh, my subscribers, where are you? Come back. I miss you. Share. Like. I love you. Bye.